Ryan Christie, Celtic Football Club. I think when I was kind of playing um, more as a, an attacking player, if it was if it was wider, kind of maybe off the striker a bit more than um, you know you've got. Obviously, you need to know your um, role in the shape, but you've got probably a bit more freedom and. Um, You've got that chance to kind of show your attacking player on, on the ball in possession and um, move kind of more in relation to your teammates. Um, whereas when I when I kind of dropped into midfield, it was um, you know a lot more structured. I need to to realise that the um, the kind of game in the opposition, I needed to adapt around that. Um, I think when I when I did drop back in there, the, the kind of players around me um, helped massively and. Um, in terms of having a, a kind of controller behind you and him keeping you right, but in terms of being a being a kind of player in that full eleven um, and making sure your your whole shape as a as a team is, is spot on, and um, it's only when you get that down to a kind of tee that you kind of feel the um, the impact of it, and you, you see an opposition um, kind of struggling to to play against it. Um, I think obviously when I dropped into midfield as well, there was still a big um, a big push on kind of pressing high up the pitch and at times having to know when to kind of release yourself and again that kind of came down to knowing the structure, knowing the structure of your formation, your, your tactics, your team and, um, and, and knowing that um, having that belief that when you were jumping from midfield and there was plenty of people um, around you set up to, to kind of cover in and um, yeah, like I said keep that kind of balance in the formation. Probably as the game goes on, you, you naturally come to find what's maybe working and, and what's not working. Um, I think the kind of the older you get, the more games you play, you realise to to take that in and, and kind of react on it um, in game. Um, obviously, going into games, it's it's vitally important to have your your tactics and everything set up. But um, you know, there's a lot of variables in football, and when they change, you need to um, kind of adapt off them. And um, it's something I think I've found with experience comes with experience managing to add that to your game so you know whether it's um, having joy feeding your wingers so if you're, if you're getting the ball in the field you need to um, you know get it out wide as, as quick as you can or um, you know maybe you're you're kind of taking the ball forward but you're not kind of maintaining possession in the opposition half and that's when you need to have a bit more control and maybe gain a few passes move the, the opposition defence um, side to side um, to then kind of hopefully expose space or, or find a weakness um, and you find that going on in the game like I said if um, if one's working more than, than another or you know if something's not working then you, you normally tend to, to stay away from that so um, I found that especially playing with Celtic and having that kind of um, dominant and possession kind of style that um, as a midfielder you need to realise these times in the game we need to kind of um, stay on top of teams so it's it's not kind of um, an attack and let them come out again it's staying on top staying in possession keeping pressure on them and more importantly keeping in, um, pressure on them in, a, in an attacking sense um, you know not letting them have any kind of space to breathe and, and um, keeping them kind of penned in and, and keep making sure you're, you're attacking when you can. Again, it stems from kind of reacting how the how the game's going. Um, in terms of from from the kind of eight position that I've I've come to play with Celtic. Um, in terms of pressing, um, we'll always have our kind of traps, but mostly when it's a, a backwards pass or maybe a loose pass from the opposition, and you just get that sniff of you know it's a chance to really put them under pressure. Um, and then obviously having the knowledge that that when you kind of jump from that midfield, um, you know if it's you're playing in a three, the the other two players are. Um, structured in a way that they're balanced behind you, and then obviously as a full eleven, then you're 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 pressing as a team um, and pushing right up the park. And when you do that, we've had obviously a lot of success, um, and you really see teams struggle to cope with that, especially when it's a, a high press. Um, obviously, you, you need to have a, a very good engine. Um, and you need to be athletic to do so. Um, but if you um, if you do it in the right manner, that can be very effective. Um, I'd say kind of making. The runs going forward, um, it, it's probably a lot of, of um, <coughs> after reacting from 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 your from your teammates. Um, I find a lot of joy if you know if we have if two wingers kind of hugging the touchline, 
um, but it'll, it'll kind of stretch their defence, um, allowing a lot of kind of space for me to run into if it's between kind of centre half and full back and um, those kind of channels. Um, and obviously, knowing the other side of it, it's very hard to track those runs. Um, you know, kind of running off the back of people, running off the back of midfielders. It's something I've got. A, I feel I can get a lot of joy from. Um, and then it's all about kind of timing and um, if, whether it's making a bo making the box from from a cross or um, making a, a run from an inside channel. So um, yeah, it's something you kind of have to get the timing right, but pick and choose your moments. Keep working hard and, and having belief, and I think making sure you're you're learning off every single person you can around you. And, and be a kind of a sponge, if you will, to the game because um, you know the, the amount of players that you come across and coaches you come across throughout your career that have played at the highest level. Um, then it's, it's stupid if you don't kind of pick their brains and um, you know whether it's tactically uh, other other kind of areas of of the game. Um, you can learn so much, and that's only going to benefit you going forward. Um, I think I did that. Growing up, I, I did do that quite a lot, but I don't think you you kind of turn it off. You keep going the the full career, and I found it now. You know, I'm definitely a, probably more a man than a boy now, but I'm I'm still kind of learning every day, and um, you know that comes from just being around good players and learning off them and being willing to learn off them.